Also new at noon, the latest developments after this fiery crash overnight on 195 westbound. Since we were last on the air this morning, we have learned that one person died on the scene. The crash caused the highway to be closed for quite some time and traffic to be rerouted during the morning commute. We want to go live to Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian for the latest details. Well, Danielle, we're here at a rest stop off of 195 westbound, which, as you mentioned, was shut down for about four hours this morning following that crash that claimed the life of one man and sent a woman to the hospital. A car fully engulfed in orange flames, sending a plume of black smoke into the skies overnight. Massachusetts State Police say the driver of this Jeep Liberty, a 38-year-old Cranston man, was pronounced dead at the scene. Police say the crash unfolded just after 2 a.m. when a Volkswagen Touareg traveling eastbound crossed the center median to the westbound lanes where it hit the Jeep, sending it rolling. The driver trapped inside. Police say the driver of the Volkswagen, a 40-year-old woman from Bristol, was taken to the hospital for unspecified injuries. The crash unfolded near exit 3 on 195 westbound in Swansea. The highway closed for hours afterwards. Traffic diverted to Route 6 as crews worked to put out the fire and clear the scene. The cause of the crash and why the woman lost control remain under investigation. And police are not yet releasing the names of the man or woman involved in this crash, but we will continue to track this story and bring you more developments as we learn them. Join us tonight on Eyewitness News starting live at 5. For now, reporting live in Swansea, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.